Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, and happy 2018 once again. On our last video, you would remember that we promised to give you a more informative, more educational, and more entertaining content. So today, I'm going to bring back this drone, the DJI Spark. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because of um, there's a lot of concerns and worries uh, about this drone, um, more specifically the uh, flyaways, wherein you put it up in the air and then all of a sudden you can control it either by your remote control or by the iPhone and it will just go somewhere and it will just fall out of the sky, which most of the time is unretrievable. So um, we come up with um, tips on how to avoid or prevent this and we research we researched online we gathered all the information that we get and we came up with these tips so hopefully um, this can prevent or avoid these flyaways so let's get to it shall we tip number one check your IMU and compass sensors um, we tested our DJI spark here inside our apartment uh, because it's freezing cold outside and I'm sorry for that but nevertheless um, you would notice that it doesn't make a difference this drone is susceptible to any metal magnet or electrical lines that would probably cause these flyaways to check whether you have the strong interference um, just turn on your spark link it up with the app and we'll show you how to do it Click on the menu or the three dots on the right. Go to the top icon which is like a shape of a drone and scroll down till you see sensors. Click on sensors and under sensors you will find IMU and compass. Click on compass. Okay now let's do some test. This is Spark in the middle of our living room and as you can see it's green and excellent in reading. This is part near a brick wall. There is an electrical outlet about one meter away. And this is part near the wall in my living room. And as you can see, it is giving me a red reading. I believe this is due to electrical lines running on it. These are neodymium magnets. This is part getting near these magnets and it's causing a very poor compass reading. And even if after you removed it away, as you would notice, there you go. It will give you an abnormal compass reading. You would notice that the compass started to read excellent again as soon as I moved Spark away. But it was too late as I believe the compass was already compromised. So our point in this exercise or experiment is um, don't forget to check your um, compass before you even fly the spark. Um, check and see if there are um, strong interference in the area that you are trying to fly your spark and don't be too excited to fly it right away without realizing that um, it's in the borderline of um, getting a strong reds Red re strong red reading. Yes, it didn't prompt us to do a calibration, but what if it's already on the borderline, like I said, of um, having an abnormal reading? So we normally drive uh, on a location using our car, and normally, probably, there will be a um, magnetic interference um, between the spark and any parts of the car that would um, throw your compass um, off. So tip number one, check your IMU and compass before you fly. Tip number two, wait for your drone to update and give you a prompt that says it's updated its home point location. We learned that um, another reason for um, flyaways is when, you, when your drone has not updated its um, home point yet and then you fly it right away and voila! It will fly to where you last updated your home point and bye bye you will never see your drone again or it will just fall from the sky and you might not be able to retrieve it so it's better to be safe and be patient in um, flying it up 
over the rainbow and then be sorry. Tip number three, how to use DJI's return to home safely. Now this is where it gets confusing. These are images shown on DJI's website about the return to home functions. If you did not read the info clearly, you will be misguided as these instructions are not all applicable to our Spark drone. To quote, the Spark is, however, an exception to the above as it does not have these settings, but instead only has one setting, sensor state, which can just turn the sensors on or off. Again, it's worth noting that the Spark is a little bit different with how DJI's return to home operates. This is the link to the guide. Please read and understand especially the last three paragraphs. There you are, simple tips that can prevent or avoid these flyaways. We are sure that there's um, a few more things that uh, we have not covered here. So please use the comment section below and let us know. Um, perhaps I can do another video update based on your inputs and we can learn about it um, more about our DJI Spark and um, enjoy um, flying this tiny drone. So thanks for watching and see you in the next um, episode of Katsi Louidou.